How did you end up at Heartlight? Uh, up in Toronto, I just never really wanted to be at home just because I had so much anger towards my parents. Wow. And like along with that came a lot of drug use, smoking a lot of weed, drinking a lot, and I just I never wanted to be at home. <laughs> Andrew, uh, thanks for just sitting down and talking a little bit. Tell me a little bit about yourself. I mean, how did you end up? How did you end up at Heartlight? Honestly, uh, it would have started end of my freshman year yeah, up yeah. in Toronto. Uh, over the past few years, I've just been getting like farther and farther apart from my parents. Really, we moved around a lot and. Why'd y'all move around a lot? My dad's job. He works for the U.S. government. Oh, okay. So, yeah. U.S. government and you're in Toronto? Yeah. Wow. It was something to do up there. It was wow. pretty cool, yeah. But uh, up in Toronto, I just never really wanted to be at home just because I had so much anger towards my parents. Wow. And like along with that came a lot of drug use, smoking a lot of weed, drinking a lot, and I just, I never wanted to be at home, so. Wow. Yeah. So what what was the kind of the crossover point where somebody said, we're not doing this anymore. You're, you need to move to Texas. You know what happened? Um, I think it just got to the point where my parents just didn't even know what to do anymore. Yeah. I was rarely at home, and when I was, I was spending time with myself in my, like in my room. So, yeah. Staring at the walls or talking to my friends on my phone. Really? Watching Netflix, sleeping. So you just honestly. kind. Of, were you in school? Out of school? Did you quit uh, going to school or? I was doing fine in school. Wow. The only reason I did that was so I could play sports. Because wow. I really love sports, especially football. So you're playing football in Toronto? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So when you'd move around, would you get on the football teams in different schools you go to? Yeah, which was really annoying. Switching teams like every two or three years. You think that was really tough, the tough point of, of connecting with your parents about the m number of moves that you kind of were shuffling around the country and, and Canada? Yeah. It really bothered me because it felt like my dad was saying, we're going to stop moving. Like, we're mm -hmm. not going to move again. We're going to settle down. And then yeah. two or three years later, we just moved again. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. the government's going to do that. I mean, that's yeah. kind of the nature of it. Yeah. Did, the, did he come and talk to you about that, about moving again and moving again and moving again? Or was that in is, is that in retrospect that you now have kind of realized that that had something to do with what you were doing um i feel like i've always kind of held a grudge about it with him hmm. and i feel like that just kind of affected us in general because whenever yeah. i talked to him even though i didn't want to we'd just get into a fight it just wouldn't go anywhere and what would you fight about little things stupid honestly. things yeah you're not spending enough time with the family come out here and be a part you're exactly. isolating yeah. Shouldn't be doing that, and we know you're smoking. We know you're doing, you know. Did you yeah. get caught doing all that stuff? Uh, I only got caught smoking once. Uh, a lot of that they didn't really know about till after I got sent here. Yeah. So. And so when they, when you get here, and now you're not doing all that stuff, were there a lot of cravings to, to want to do that? And definitely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was a hard thing just yeah. like to be doing a lot and then coming here. Just and then just stopping no cold turkey. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it mm -hmm. is. For it sure. is. So in between the times that 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 you started to realize, okay, I'm not I'm not getting to use and the time now when you feel more comfortable mm -hmm. uh, with without having to do that. What's what's filled that space? Um, honestly, it's been the people here. Well, wow. Like getting to meet new people, because honestly, a lot of the people here I wouldn't talk to back home, just because they're not really the kind of people I would hang out with. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really cool that I got to meet some of the people that I met here. Yeah. And how long have you been here? Uh, it'll be six months on Saturday, I think. So you're over halfway there. Yes. I mean, and so yeah. So what do you see as the biggest change that's happened in your life since you've been here? Um, honestly, it's been my relationship with my dad. Really? Like just recently. Like, it's gotten a lot better. I've had a few phone calls with him that wow. have gone over an hour, and it's been really, really good. And why do you think there's been a change in that? Because he's been able to see things from my perspective, yeah. and I've been able to see things better from his perspective, and wow. it's been really cool. Wow. What about your mom? Um, I've never really had too big of problems with her, just because yeah. I kind of associated everything with the moves with him and put that all on him. Yeah. And I never really had a problem with my mom. Wow. So, yeah. Well, that's kind of neat that it's changing a little bit. You mm -hmm. know, 
a lot of people don't get to do that, you yeah. know, and so that's kind of cool. So the change you see with your dad, what? But but inside you, I mean, you chose the drugs and everything else for a reason, because you're mad and angry. That, but I go. So what's changed in you that doesn't push you to that? I mean, there's got to be some thing that you've worked through, because you still moved around as a kid all the time. Yeah. So what is it that's that made you kind of wake up to that? A lot of it was. I just really needed to understand where he was coming from because yeah. I didn't know he really had no control over it. Yeah. I thought he was just doing it because he wanted a promotion. He wanted, like, to get farther where, like, in his work and that kind of thing. Yeah. And that pissed me off that yeah. I thought he wasn't taking any of us into consideration. Wow. And, I mean, like, getting to hear it from his perspective and what he was actually doing it for was good to hear. Do you think you couldn't do that when you were at home because... You are isolating from everybody and either high or drinking or doing whatever that you couldn't have had that conversation at home? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And this place, like, it gave me that opportunity because I don't think that would have happened at home yeah. at all. I think I would have just finished up my senior year and just left. I think your head got messed up enough that, that um, you couldn't think straight? I wouldn't say that. I just before coming here I wasn't as open-minded yeah. to doing something like that stubborn yeah you could say that yeah want to <laughs> control everything and yeah. don't want to listen and all that stuff mm -hmm. wow okay I, I mean that's it that's interesting and, and you look and in, in your own self now do you go well this is what I need to be working on what do you what is that in the in the future for you over the next few months what do you think you need to be working on I think I need to continue getting things a little bit better with my dad because huh? they've improved a bunch. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it definitely still has some work that need, needs to be done before I go home living with him again. Well, that'd be cool. And will uh, you go back to Toronto? Uh, are you going to move again? <laughs> yeah, they moved to Arizona while I was here, oh, so I'll they? go there. Did yeah. they? <laughs> so, I mean, that's quite a change from Toronto to Arizona. Oh, yeah. I mean, do you think your parents could have? you know, done anything different? As you look back, is there something that mom and dad could have done that would have prevented you from kind of spinning out of control? I think just actually sitting down and having a good conversation with me and I guess trying to show me their perspective because that never really happened well, and I just kind of decided those things on my own. Yeah. Like they never really explained their side of the story to me. That's cool. So. That's cool. Yeah. Love your parents? I do now, yes. You do now? <laughs> yeah, but not then. It took a little bit. You know your parents love you? Mm-hmm. Well, cool. Well, look, thanks for coming in. It's yeah, hard to believe sure. this time goes so, so quick when we sit down and talk, but yeah. thanks for kind of filling me in. I look forward to seeing you with your dad in a couple of weeks and see what happens. <laughs> sure. Okay? All right. Thanks, man. Yeah, thanks. for sure. You bet. <laughs>